We've had to wait 30 years and it's finally back. With the Pyeongchang Games just a few weeks away, the Olympic torch is back in the Korean capital for the first time since the 1988 Seoul Olympics. Cruising through Seoul over the weekend, the torch relay was greeted by big crowds of citizens and celebrities and it lit up the Olympic Stadium in the southern district of Chamshil for the first time in three decades. Our Won Jung Hwan reports. The Olympic torch has been on the road for 70 days in Korea, but finally arrived in Seoul over the weekend. One of its final stops before it steadily makes its way to Pyeongchang, the host city of the 2018 Winter Olympics. The torch relay began in Seoul on Saturday and runs through Tuesday on a course spanning around 100 kilometers, with some 600 torch bearers doing the honors. The star-studded list of torch bearers included K-pop stars and TV show celebrities. Former professional basketball player Seo jang un said he felt joy, but also a sense of responsibility after being selected as one of the runners to carry the very essence of the Olympic spirit around the capital city. As one of the professional athletes, I had an opportunity to participate at the Olympic torch relay today, and I would like to ask more people to pay greater attention to the upcoming 2018 Pyeongchang Winter Olympic Games. A variety of different relay events to celebrate the Olympic have been held under the five themes of economy, environment, ICT, culture and peace. The organizing committee says the theme of the torch relay in Seoul is the fourth theme, culture. Here at Gwangwon Plaza, in the heart of the capital Seoul, one of the major events, the Royal Carriage Parade relay event, has held on Saturday evening to symbolize the connection between the past, present and future of South Korea. The Royal Carriage Parade Relay, or Oga Hengyeol, is a fabulous Joseon Dynasty era parade that's a perfect example of Korea's rich cultural heritage. The royal procession started in front of the capital's iconic Gyeongbokgung Palace and marched to Gangwamun Plaza with the torch. The ritual music and the atmosphere emphasized the importance of this royal ceremony, held to the highest degree of formality. During Sunday's leg, the torch passed the fortress walls of Seoul and the Pukchon Hanok village and ended up at the Olympic Stadium in Chamsil, which was the heart of the sporting action during the 1988 Seoul Olympics. After leaving Seoul, the torch will travel the northern parts of Gyeonggi-do province and head towards Pyeongchang, where it will arrive on February 9th, the day of the opening ceremony. Won Jong-un, Arirang News.